Hi, I'm Mia, a police detective from New York. Today, I'm going to tell you how we caught a world-famous art thief last Saturday. It was a sunny day in New York, and the city was teeming with people as always. That morning, we received a tip that Black Cat was in town, having just arrived. He was known as Black Cat because he left a name card with a drawing of a black cat at each place he stole from. The informant who gave us this tip was reliable, so we took it seriously. After gathering more information, we discovered that he was here for a famous painting on display only for the weekend. It would have been difficult to steal it during the day, so we suspected he would probably attempt it at night. First, however, he would need to figure out how to steal it, which meant he would first need to case the museum. We decided to stake out the museum, blending in as art lovers. The museum was bustling with people eager to see the famous painting. We waited for hours, and just before four o'clock, a man in a black suit approached the painting. He looked like Black Cat, but we couldn't be sure. He was known to be a master of disguise. The only way to confirm it was Black Cat was to check for the tattoo on his neck, as we knew he had a distinctive dragon tattoo there. I deliberately dropped my pen right in front of him. As he tried to pick it up, another detective took the opportunity to check his neck. It was him. We finally caught Black Cat. We arrested him and the uniformed officers escorted him outside. This was a big win for us, and we all went out for a beer to celebrate. How was it? Did you understand everything? If you didn't, don't worry. I will explain some of the words and phrases used in the story. First up, let's talk about Teen With. Imagine a jar so full of candy that candies are almost falling out. That's what it's like when a place teams with people or things. It's packed. For instance, in our story, New York was teeming with people. It means it was packed with people everywhere you looked. So, if you go to a concert and there are people all around, you could say, this place is teeming with fans. Moving on to informant. An informant is like a secret friend who tells you things nobody else knows. They're often used in stories where the police need inside information to catch the bad guys. In our story, the informant gave the police a tip about the art thief. If your friend tells you about a surprise test, they're being an informant. You might whisper, thanks for the info. You're a good informant. Let's look at the word case. To case something means to look at it very carefully because you want to do something later, like a thief who looks at a building before he tries to steal something. In our story, Black Cat would need to case the museum, which means he would look at everything very carefully to plan his theft. If you go to the store and look around at all the phones before you decide which one to buy, you're casing the phones. Let's talk about stakeout. When you stake out a place, you're waiting and watching for a long time. Detectives often do this in stories when they expect that someone they are looking for will show up, or they suspect that something bad might happen there. In our story, the detectives staked out the museum, they were there waiting quietly to see if the thief would come. Now, imagine you believe squirrels are eating the plants in your garden, so you sit by the window and keep watch. You're actually staking out your garden. Now, let's find out what bustling with means. If a place is bustling with people, it's very busy with lots of people moving around. In our story, the museum was bustling with people who came to see the famous painting. This is almost the same as Teen With, which we just learned about. So, if you're at a train station early in the morning and see lots of people hurrying to catch their trains, you could say it's bustling with people who go to work. 
Next is disguise. When someone is good at disguise, it means they can change how they look so no one can tell who they are. They might wear different clothes or something else to cover their face. Black Cat was a master of disguise, which means he was very good at changing his appearance. If you dress up to look like someone else, maybe for a play at school or for a game, and no one knows it's you, you are in disguise. Let's move on to deliberately. When someone does something deliberately, they intend to do it, they plan it. It's the opposite of doing something by mistake. In our story, Mia deliberately dropped her pen because she wanted a detective to see the man's neck when he tries to pick it up. For example, if you choose to use the stairs instead of the elevator for your health, you are taking the stairs deliberately. Next is escort. To escort someone means to walk with them, usually to help or protect them. Police often escort a person they've caught. In our tale, the police escorted the thief out of the museum, which means they walked him out to make sure he didn't escape. If you walk a friend home to make sure they're safe, you're escorting them home. Finally, big win. A big win is when you succeed in something important. It's a moment of great victory. In the story, catching the thief was a big success for the detectives. Let's imagine you've been training for a chess tournament and you win the championship match. That's a big win. You'd feel a great sense of victory knowing you've become the champion. Now that you've understood these phrases, let's listen to her story one more time without subtitles. Hi, I'm Mia, a police detective from New York. Today, I'm going to tell you how we caught a world-famous art thief last Saturday. It was a sunny day in New York, and the city was teeming with people as always. That morning, we received a tip that Black Cat was in town, having just arrived. He was known as Black Cat because he left a name card with a drawing of a black cat at each place he stole from. The informant who gave us this tip was reliable, so we took it seriously. After gathering more information, we discovered that he was here for a famous painting on display only for the weekend. It would have been difficult to steal it during the day, so we suspected he would probably attempt it at night. First, however, he would need to figure out how to steal it, which meant he would first need to case the museum. We decided to stake out the museum, blending in as art lovers. The museum was bustling with people eager to see the famous painting. We waited for hours, and just before four o'clock, a man in a black suit approached the painting. He looked like Black Cat, but we couldn't be sure. He was known to be a master of disguise. The only way to confirm it was Black Cat was to check for the tattoo on his neck, as we knew he had a distinctive dragon tattoo there. I deliberately dropped my pen right in front of him. As he tried to pick it up, another detective took the opportunity to check his neck. It was him. We finally caught Black Cat. We arrested him and the uniformed officers escorted him outside. This was a big win for us, and we all went out for a beer to celebrate. I hope you understood everything this time. Now, please like and subscribe if you liked the video. Hope to see you in the next lesson.